What's good, everybody? Robin E. here, your host of Pillow Talk Podcast. And I am finally, 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 finally bringing you the Kobe Bryant book review. This was long overdue. I was supposed to bend drop this video, but I'm dropping it for you today. This is the first time I've ever done a studio session, I guess, on YouTube by myself. So hopefully y'all fuck with the video. Um, for those of you that are unfamiliar, Kobe Bryant actually had a series of children's books that he wrote as well. R.I.P. Kobe. And um, shout out to my twin who actually put me on with the Kobe Bryant children's books and intrigued me to kind of see what it was about. So um, I went to, well, I mean, I looked on Amazon, obviously, and they were on Amazon too. But I went to Barnes and Nobles um, around where I stay to see if they were in like a actual store uh which they were but of course when i was talking to the man at the place he didn't even know that kobe bryant had made children's books but if you didn't know he did and he made a series of them and um they're aimed at young adult fiction you know it's that young adult realm um so i decided to pick one of the books that i uh, out of the series that i could do a review on so real quick there's uh, the Wizard series. So this is what the first book looks like. It was a New York Times bestseller book. And um, this was also written by Wesley King. So Kobe Bryant does have um, editors and writers that also helped him write these books too. And then there's this other book here, um, The Tree of Eckworth, I believe. This was another book that also stuck out to me, too. This isn't a part of the series, um, the Wizardry series. It's just another book within um, the Kobe Bryant children's books that he's written. Um, so I'll probably read this book next. This first book here, thick as hell. Let me just tell you that. That shit was like, looked like a Harry Potter book. Um, but I, I'm going to go back and read that. So what I grabbed was Legacy and the Queen. So this is the book that I uh, just about finished reading for Kobe Bryant. And you can't really see, but this book is bomb. Like the detail that goes into um, the book, like you can't really see what it's made of, but it's like, I don't know, like velvet or some shit. This is what it looks like. Don't this look like some mystical ass shit, right? A mystical ass book. Like when I seen the book in the store, I couldn't believe how nice it was put together. Like how nicely it was put together. This wasn't no, you know, Kobe dropped the bag. He dropped the bag. But this is the actual book here. It's only 200 pages. This book has... Um, Annie Matthew as being the co-writer of this book here so Legacy and the Queen in a nutshell um, revolves around a young woman who is gifted in the game of tennis and she has to make a sacrifice between her family and her orphanage to go and compete in this competition to essentially get a scholarship to get money to you know take care of her family so it has a lot of uh, mystical aspects to it. They're kind of like in this enchanted place. And Kobe did a really good job, I think, of expressing how the underdog can overcome anything. You're right. We always love those type of underdog stories or whatever the case may be. But Kobe really put a lot of detail into telling the backstory of the child and constantly – reminding us how unsure the child was of herself how undeserving she felt she ended up winning to get into the competition and ended up going to this little fancy school where she had to continue forth in order to win the scholarship and the whole time that she's at this school she's just contemplating herself going back and forth with the you know idea of is she able to do this is she you know capable of being here does she deserve to be here and in a sense, it kind of has a poor and rich aspect to it as well. She was a commoner, uh, a pravi is what they called her in the book. And so when she went out to this place and stayed at this palace, they gave her all these new clothes and all the other kids that had already, you know, been living there, you know, looked down on her, made fun of her, weren't welcoming to her. But her determination, her drive, you know, her constant want you know, to achieve and her love for tennis um, essentially helped her overcome, you know, a lot of those self-doubts that she was having. 
Then you kind of have this mystical aspect where she has a power, um, a grana, I believe it's called, where she has uh, the ability to have light come from her she's a, she's a beam of light so I felt like that was significant in itself too um so I really 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 liked the book um again it is you know young adult fiction but the words I mean damn it was a lot of big words in the book and I had to go back and like look up some words because I was like shit what the fuck does that mean <laughs> but um I like the way that it was very descriptive and describing Before Kobe died, he was doing slight press conferences uh, about these books. He didn't really make it his job to be the face of the books, which I think was really, really cool because, I mean, his name's already on the fucking book. But um, he did a really good job of pushing the book on the back end for the young adults, for the young kids. He did a video um, speaking on the books, and he spoke on um, this book here, Legacy and the Queen, And he touched on how important it was to have positive role models for young women. You know, him being a girl dad and having, you know, nothing but girls and seeing all these type of influences that come with the world that we live in. He felt like it was his duty to create a new type of role model or to at least emphasize the idea of you are enough and you don't have to be a certain way in order to succeed, in order to fly. I'm big on queen behavior, self-respect, women not, you know, um, sexualizing their bodies for the the sake of men. And it really hit me um, listening to him talk about how important it is for young women to be proud of themselves and how important it is for us to have positive role models. That is why I decided to read this book out of all the other books that he's already published within the series. To me, this was the one that gravitated the most to me because of that root right there. We are dealing with this war on women right now, like seriously, for real. And we steady go back and forth between what it means to be a woman, let us have our freedom, let us be liberated, respect us, whatever the case may be. At the end of the day, we have to set the example for our daughters, our sisters, our little cousins, for the younger women that are here to come. The same shit you're saying, you know what I mean, you would never do, there's young girls out here doing. And they don't have a lot of positive role models that can enforce into them that this is not the type of shit you need to be doing. Of course, you know, he incorporated sports into the book, but finding a passion, finding something, you know what I'm saying, that drives you, something that pushes you, you know, it gives you a bigger purpose so that you don't feel the need to, to lower yourself, to expose yourself, you know, saying to lose your way. I really, really loved how determined the main character in the book was to overcome any self-doubt that she has about herself. I'm a very big self-doubt person. I doubt myself a lot of the time, but I also overcome that shit. And I think as a woman, we have to learn to rebuild and repair ourselves over and over again. No matter what the situation is, no matter how badly we are affected, it's up to us to build ourselves back up. Nobody else is going to do that shit. But once we're able to get to that point, we can achieve so much more. So much more. The whole idea behind, you know, perseverance, uh, self-discipline, um, responsibility, being clear on why you're doing something constantly um within the book the main character was going back and forth with trying to make friends and you know excel in the competition and her trainer had to consistently remind her bitch you're not here to make friends you know what I'm saying you're here to get this scholarship you're here to get this money you know what I'm saying you're here to to make a better life for yourself and I love the way that a woman, you know, a girl was the one that had to make this sacrifice. It had to kind of be the breadwinner to save the family, in a sense. We're always being the damsels in distress. Um, in this book, she was kind of the hero, and she had to go put her cape on and make shit happen. To me, that that is me. That I am that. I am her. That is me. <laughs> I feel like I always have to make things happen. I always have to figure out a way to get shit done. That's just the way shit go. But you have to remind yourself why you're doing it. If you're not passionate about whatever the hell it is that you're doing, don't fucking do it. Stop doing it. Leave that shit alone. So for me, overall, I think the main thing that I took away from the book is 
believing in yourself. I think to me, that was the overall biggest message that I got from the book. No matter where you come from, no matter what obstacles you may face, you know, no matter what people you encounter that feel like they have the authority over your life, you have to believe in yourself. You have to really go hard, really go a thousand zillion trillion percent and believing in yourself can get you further than a lot of support can or you know a lot of self-doubt can so for me that that was the biggest thing that I got from the book would I recommend this book yes hell yes I would recommend this to any young girl who you know enjoys reading obviously you all should be reading books but if you're not reading a book um I would definitely recommend this to young adults but I would really recommend this to to anybody any youth that self-doubts themselves any youth that feels like they aren't enough feel like they can't achieve something feel like there's a lot of obstacles holding them back to achieve whatever it is that they achieve this is definitely a a motivational and inspiring book in that sense and it's going to give you a you know a, a bigger picture of how to get things done um no matter the obstacles that you may face basically it's been a lot of obstacles that I faced as of recent. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't gonna hold y'all. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all got things to do, but um, I've had a lot of things recently, a lot of obstacles that I've had to overcome in my life. And there's been plenty of times that I've self doubted myself. I've second guessed myself. I've said, you know, fuck it. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not good enough. I'm not there. I'm not where I need to be. And what is it? What does it take for you to? Pull yourself back together after you're falling apart. How do you pick up the pieces? How do you push yourself when you feel like you have no energy left? Passion. Passion. Which was another big key factor in this book, but in my life as well, passion. This here, my space, what I'm doing right now is my passion. And I have gotten to a point where I have started to lose other things because of this, other personal things because of this, because this is my passion. And the hunger to succeed, the hunger to keep doing what I'm doing fuels me. It recharges me whenever I'm down, whenever I'm fucked up or I can't come up with an idea or I'm stuck on a graphic or interview goes bad. The passion it bring me back every single time. No matter what type of personal things may affect me or the type of obstacles that I overcome, the passion that I have for this is what keeps me going, is what gets me over the obstacles. So perseverance, passion, you know, passion, 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 passion. If you're doing something, you're not passionate about it, stop doing it. If you're working on something and you feel like, You've done everything you can do, and you, there's nothing better that you can do. Just stop. Just leave it alone at that point because you're not ready. You're not hungry. You're not ready for everything that's going to come with this because shit's not supposed to be easy. I didn't want to get too deep. You know what I'm saying? I didn't get too deep. But I just wanted y'all to really understand how impactful um, and relatable this book was to my personal life, even being a 27-year-old woman. I still felt very connected to the main character. I still felt very connected to the problems and situations that she was dealing with. So I really commend Kobe and who is this? Annie Matthew for doing their shit. And because, again, if y'all could... If y'all could see, like, this motherfucker code. I bet this is going to be a collector's edition. And I'm going to never sell this shit. Ever, 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 ever in life. Like, it's super, super decent. So if you've never heard of any of the books that Kobe wrote, um, Google it, for one. But go check them out. Again, this is only, like, 200 pages I went and bought it. It was like 15 bucks. A little pricey, but you know what I'm saying? It's Kobe, so I I went a little crazy. I'm a, like I said, I'm going to go back and probably read that other book, the one that was purple. Um, but it's really dope. It's really really dope. I wanted to read to you guys the dedication from Kobe. So he says to Nani, Gigi, BB, 
and Coco, my four beautiful, spirited, strong daughters. When you fiercely protect your passion, no one can ever steal your dreams. Read the book, y'all. Read the book. I'll be doing another book review next week. I have another book I'm super excited to read. It's a weed book. It's got all the benefits of weed in it and all this other type of shit. But that's for another conversation. We'll save that. R.I.P. Kobe, thank you for giving us this masterpiece. And make sure you guys check it out if you have not already. If there's any books that you're reading or any books that you would like for me to read, drop them down below in the comments. Email me, message me. Let me know and I will check it out. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Peace out.